Yeah, well, we're an environment centre where we cover a lot of different areas from energy efficiency to water conservation, waste minimisation. Uh, we do education as well out in the community, community gardening. Um, so we basically, if it involves household sustainability, we do it all. And recently we started up a biodiesel initiative um, so people can come here and fill up on vegetable oil-based biodiesel, which they can run 100% in their diesel vehicles. Uh, I am the project coordinator for the Sustainable Rhinoe Swanson uh, Sustainable Household Program. I guess another cap I wear is I'm on the uh, executive for the Permaculture in New Zealand, so quite involved in transition towns. Yeah, and when, when, I, when I mean good biodiesel and bad biodiesel, you obviously need to look at the bigger picture. That if you're taking land out of um, food production and then putting it into crop production for fuel, then you're going to have issues. Um, but the, but the, the reality is though at the moment that starvation isn't being caused by biofuel, starvation is being caused by our dist distribution systems and globally. Um, and, and the fact that we have large scale green revolution type um, food production when there's actually a lot of evidence that small low scale um, s some farming initiatives are much more productive not economically efficient in the current model, but more productive per, per hectare in terms of the amount of food that you can get out. And so when I, when I also say bad biodiesel and good biodiesel, I'm also referring to the fact that I, I think biofuels should stay local. I think they should be consumed, produced and consumed locally. I, I don't think we should get to the stage where we're trading biofuels like we trade oil, you know, and I, just, I don't, I think that's counterproductive. Um, and I and also think we need to actually look better at public transport and especially electrifying Auckland's public transport networks as well. So I don't, cars are not the future, um, public transport is. And I think New Zealand needs to get its head around that because we're really, really far behind. <laughs> especially if you look at um, um, Europe and, and a lot of cities in North America, especially now, are starting to put a lot of emphasis on public transport. Whereas in Auckland, you know, we, we could do it if we had the political will. But um, we just see lots and lots of different areas being put off by this current government, such as integrated ticketing and electrification of the railway network. And 